you watching this video is probably because you're like me. Someone a little bit obsessed about making their VR experiences as real as possible. We've come far, but there's been one thing missing. Thanks to VR for partnering with me on this video. Hey everyone, Cass here, and I've already shown you haptic vests, suits, treadmills, gloves, and scents. They allow us to run around freely and feel the impact of a VR game. Gloves make it possible to feel the shapes and sizes of virtual objects and wearable scent devices evoke memories. But not many use one component that is very necessary for that sense of realism. Thermals, so temperature, the feeling of hot and cold. How can we feel that in VR? I will show you that today and spoiler alert, it made me realize something fascinating. Consider the subscribing for more VR and AR content like this one and now join me beyond reality. Weart, an Italian startup, made these gloves called Touch Diver. It's the first wearable haptic glove that combines all three pillars of touch. Forces, temperature or thermal cues, and high fidelity textures. It consists of three thimbles that you wear on your fingers. Each thimble has this little silver square, which is the haptic core. This can move up and down for skin indentation. It can get hot and cold too, but between 10 and 40 degrees Celsius, the whole thing can also vibrate. And if you combine all this, it can reproduce the thermal dispersion characteristics of materials. To explain this, try touching something made out of wood right now, like your desk probably. Then feel something made out of metal and it will feel colder, but not because it is colder, but because metal takes heat away from your fingers faster than wood. That's why you also feel colder during a windy day because mother nature basically steals our heat. This is also how the touch diver works, and it goes even further. Their software tracks your fingers and can mimic what happens when you slide them at different speeds and ways. By reproducing the correct vibration, they can do something really cool. I'll show you that in the demos, but before I can do that, let me show you what's in the box. Typically, I find unboxing videos boring, but this box is done very well. When you open the box, you can find the manual, dongle, tracker, and wristband. Open the second lid and you'll find the control unit, the thimbles, the charger, and the other soft cell sizes for your fingers, because you can actually remove the shells and replace them. I love how it's numbered and explains how it works immediately. The box is like a manual and also storage bag in one. There are even magnets here to keep the control unit from falling. I'm a design graduate, so this is sexy to me. Anyways, jumping in is easier than expected too. Just plug in the dongle in your PC, mount the controller. Depending on what headset you use, you mount it differently. I'm using the Quest 2, so I use these straps that make it feel like a glove. Now plug in the thimbles, open the WeArt middleware, and then turn on the control unit. Connect and you're ready to go. Welcome to the first demo. The first thing we're gonna try is of course, either this one or that one. Oh my gosh, pressing the button, I can feel the tension. Oh, the harder I press, the stronger it gets. So that feels pretty realistic. Okay, <clears throat> let's, let's try burning myself. Uh-oh, I'm a little bit scared. Oh, whoa! Oh my god, that's actually hot. That's actually hot. Okay, wait, let's try it again. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can feel it already when I'm here. Oh, that actually hurts! Oh my god, this is really, really hot. I don't know if it's like... I, ca I don't think I can do this for a long time. <laughs> okay, let's cool down for a bit. Oh. Oh, this is icy. But this feels kind of nice. Especially after this. Oh my god. Wow. It's actually really fast response times. It gets hot right now. Cold straight away. Very low latency. I think this is a demo. The rolling part. It's a little sofa square. It pushes against my finger, but at just the right timing and strength while I roll it. Honestly, this can be a little bit more realistic though. Doesn't feel that realistic yet. I can't squeeze it. But it does really feel like I'm holding something in my hands. Okay, so remember I said the touch diver could do something cool? This is gonna show it. So now there's a combination of everything working. The thing pushes against my fingers while I touch it. And while I slide it, I can feel the vibrations 
exactly matching the textures here, making it feel like I'm actually touching some kind of leather. And also, use a little bit colder than this table over here. What about this? Ah, this looks like marble. Oh. Oh my god, it's cold. And I can feel that it's smooth and kind of slippery, especially compared with this. Wow, how about this one? Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, this uh, feels rough because these little white things, they're like little curves or something. And I can feel that. <laughs> Doesn't feel nice. This feels much nicer. This is a different demo and it looks like some kind of futuristic lab game. And this drone wants me to grab this beggar. Okay, no. feel a lot of resistance. Please, I guess it's a it hard on. material. Pretty cool. Let's press this button. Oh, some resistance here too. Oh, I know what's gonna happen now. This thing is gonna be hot and it wants me to grab it. No. Is that gonna Keep be safe though? Ooh, yeah. Temperature going up. Oh, that's pretty hot, but not too hot. Like, it cools off after a while, which is kind of realistic, to be honest. Oh, now I have to grab this thing. It looks cold. Oh, well, it actually isn't that cold. It's kind of warm still. Oh, it's grating. Ah, oh, that's all cool. I feel the vibrations of the great machine. Like, it's very accurate. One, three, five, eight. <gasps> okay, this looks like it's going to be cold. Oh, yeah, it is actually really cold. Okay, let's pour it in. Oh, I felt like the cool liquid kind of flowing through my fingers onto there and then it got a little bit hotter. It was kind of accurate, to be honest. Oh. Wow, my favorite drink. I haven't seen a glove before that can make us feel the tactile properties of virtual surfaces. So far, I've only been able to feel the difference between a soft and hard texture, but not the different material types like wood, plastic, stones and textiles. As you could tell, it felt a little hot, but I think my mind made it hotter than it was as VR ensures that the max temperature is safe and not harmful for the user. This made me realize how much this could mean for a complete sense of presence. Fascinating thing to me is that as scuba divers, we just got certified last year, they teach us that we lose the most heat from our hands and feet. So on a very hot day, the best thing you could do to cool down your body is to place your hands and feet into cold water. I'm guessing that's how the device can make such an impact by just giving my three fingers the feeling of hot and cold. This has to be great for education like universities or industrial and medical training. And what about furniture and home appliance stores? Imagine being able to feel what a leather couch feels like before buying one or diving into a virtual ocean and touching a shark. It's probably much safer. Of course, it's not perfect. It only has one hour of battery life. It's aimed at end price and it's expensive. They do have plans to come with cheaper consumer products, so consider this a look at the future, which is gonna be wild. You can purchase the Touch Diver from 4,500 euros. Check it out using the link below. What do you think about this invention? Do you think it will add much to our VR experiences in the future? Let me know in the comments below and like this video while you're at it. I hope to see you in the next a special thanks to our champs vr on dot scene